you should go to your local cultural center to see some memorials and learn more about them. In order to start with this project, we first went to the Park of Fayette, where three monuments related to the themes are located. We looked around them while we were answering some questions referring to the significance of them. Once there, the teachers explained to us the real meaning of those monuments so we could inform ourselves about the matter. To continue, return to a place where you can work in groups, discuss what you have seen and relate it to the topic. We were returned to class and we talked about what we had seen in the park and the different discriminated groups. Then you will have to obtain information from different sources about events and discriminated groups to locate them in a timeline. To do this, we gathered in groups and the teachers gave us some information sources about different groups so we could fill out some cards and put them into a timeline. This timeline was located in the years between 30s and 50s in Spain but also in Germany and this helped us to understand different events during the Holocaust. Following this, with all the information you've seen in class, try to work on those different discriminated groups. When we got enough information, we started analyzing those discriminated groups in relation to the events. Choose someone to sit next to on the bus and associate each person with a personal detail that will be given to you. Our teacher gave us some pictures of different people and we had to choose who we would sit next to. And later we had to justify their choice. After that, they gave us some random sentences and information which we had to associate with each person. No, esta, esta no. Más, no? No. No sé, es que esta Loyal family men, creo que era. Our teachers then gave us the answers and we had to compare them to our answers. Then, Organize some situations from least to most discriminatory and justify your answers. Our teachers gave us some discriminatory situations for us to organize from least to most discriminatory. When the cards were organized, we had to explain to the other groups why we put those cards in that order. Later, watch a video about a discriminated person and answer some questions. Each group watched a video about a person belonging to a discriminated group telling them a discriminatory situation they faced, just because of their religion or ethnicity. We then answered some questions about their testimonies. To continue, think out the meaning of taking action and then choose some reasons for and against it. We started by thinking individually and discussing what taking action means. Then we thought about reasons for and against taking these actions. Then develop the action plan and write your reflections. We developed our action plan and wrote our reflections, talking about how to face discrimination. After that, we start making the discriminatory situation panels. Next, we divide the class in three groups, depending on the role. To do this, the class was divided in three groups, depending on the panel. On one side, the historical context, on the other side, the looking ahead one, and finally, the discriminatory situations. Eh, básicamente, es un poste que tiene palabritas con círculos y cada poste es un derecho humano y tienes en euskera, en herdera, en el otro lado en francés o inglés, si es que sabéis francés o inglés. Finally, create different posters, including what each one requires. We continued working on the panels using the application called Canva. We created and searched information for each poster and created three different type of posters depending on the information that each poster demanded. 
this local history project I have learned how to face discrimination in day-to-day -day situations. What I have learned with this project is that there are more groups that are discriminated than I thought before and I've realized that there are many like monuments that show that. There were three monuments. The first one uh, is about the Franco regime here. The second one was about Anna Franks, uh, like a reference to her. And the last one was about the human rights. The second monument made me think about the complicated situation that Anna Frank have to live in that moment.